Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be hitting up Pokey Stops, looking for eggs, uh, looking for 10k. I'll take 5k. Like I want five. I, actually, I'm taking any eggs. Uh, we'll probably also hatch some eggs in this video as well as find eggs. Uh, we're going to be starting this episode off by hitting up uh, the four uh, churches uh, that we hit up in a previous uh, that lost clip. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to talk as we hit these four up. Uh, pretty easy drive to get to all four of them. As you can see, I'm kind of doing it in reverse order that I did it the last time. Uh, so it may not look the same on the map this time. But I think I'm going to have enough footage. I, I hope you guys, I know I mentioned it in yesterday's video, but I hope you guys do like the new... Um, uh, not overlay, but the the background, I guess, showing the sprites that we're hunting for, as well as the sprites for the Pokemon that I want the most. Uh, like I said, I explained it a little bit more in that video, but I hope you are liking that. I thought it was a little bit better than just simple pictures. Uh, I like that the sprites are moving. Uh, just add some more aesthetics, I guess, to the uh, video, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's what I was trying to work towards. Um, it's kind of hard to do because the screen capture, when you screen capture that, um, which it's just a video underlaid behind the, uh, behind the, what am I trying to say? Behind the, the main video, the video of my iPhone, my screen capture, my iPhone, that's what it is. Uh, it just worked out better than making it each layer of my edit because that would have been like 13 layers so it was easier to do a background lay uh underlay but that's enough about that uh most of those pokemon that i'm hunting you know obviously are the rare ones uh hard to find most of them i don't even have like porygon and aerodactyl i have a vulpix and i have a Growlithe, but we are still hunting those i guess you know charizard and dragonite are my two main focuses right now well, let's catch this weedle uh they're my two main focuses they're my two most wanted pokemon but i would say the more easily attainable in the next little while is the vulpix and or not the vulpix the nine tails and the arcanine are going to be the two that i think are the more obtainable oh my gosh weedle and i just screwed up that throw uh, I, I think those are more obtainable, especially Vulpix. Uh, I'm going to go hit up the park again, so hopefully, you know, we'll get some Vulpix. We'll get some Vulpix um, in the park, and we can progress even closer to my Nine Tails. I can't wait for that. can get a huge experience drop. I'm just waiting. Uh, as you saw in yesterday's video, you know, I hit 22. Uh, there's no sense until I can evolve a bunch of Pokemon or something to, to pop a lucky egg and whatnot. And, and, evolved Pokemon. I'm just going to save up candies and one of these days we'll have a large evolving video uh, evolving a bunch of different Pokemon. I went ahead and evolved a couple last night. That's why I sit at 9,447 experience. Uh, I could have more obviously as you can see with the Weedle candies. I think I can evolve uh, maybe two Raditas. I can evolve some Pidgeys. Uh, it's just really at this point, I'm level 22, you know, obviously I'm on that grind to level 23, and I think once I get to 30, I think 30 may be the barometer where I just stop trying to level up like a fiend. I think I think that's where, oh, here we go, we got an Eratita. I'm finding a bunch of crappy Pokemon. That's fine. I wish these were all like 10, oh gosh. Oh, I wish these were all 10 combat power Pokemon, so I didn't have to keep wasting a bunch of Pokeballs. I hate when I gotta throw four Pokeballs at something that I'm just gonna transfer in the end. Okay, well, Raditz is out of here. Okay, there's Pidgey's galore. Not finding any good... Po See here, this is what I like, an 82 combat power Pidgey. So all the clips won't be this long, obviously, but... These churches. I'm actually going to hit a fifth church up, I think. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I might change my mind and hit it up in a separate part. It's kind of, uh, yeah, I'll wait. See, this is a 24 Pidgey. Like, this is what I want. Like, Thank you, game, for giving me these low combat power 
Pidgeys, that's what you want with Weedles, Pidgeys, Caterpies, Rattatas. You want the lowest combat power you can possibly catch. Because that, that uh, you know, you don't waste a bunch of Pokeballs trying to catch them. And no egg. Alright, we've got one more church to hit up in this little intro to this video. Uh, so really, like I said, what we're going to be doing is driving around, hitting up Poke stops, looking for eggs, trying to hatch eggs. And then we are also going to be taking some gems. You can see we're working on a lot of six eggs at the moment. I did jo Oh, okay, we got a Weedle. Got a Weedle and a Pidgey. Let's go ahead and hit the... Let's catch these bad boys. See, this is a strong Weedle. Get in the Pokeball and stay, Weedle. Ah, Weedle. I don't know why Weedle's giving me such a... So much trouble sometimes. Uh, no. Weedle. Just get in the Pokeball and stay. One, two, three. There we go. I have, like, really good luck catching Pidgeys, and I have horrible luck catching Weedles. Also, okay, that Pidgey's gone. All right. Must have just moved out of range of that Pidgey. That's fine. We're not turning around for a Pidgey. Uh, I, I just seem to... I, I also want to find some raspberries today. I do have a decent... I think I'm over 50 on raspberries, but I want to find some more because, obviously, if we're hunting for rare Pokemon, I want to be able to uh, be able to raspberry them. I guess also I want to find Ultra Balls uh, because... When I find rare Pokemon, I need to have Ultra Balls to throw, and I need to have enough Raspberry. Like, if I popped up on a Dragonite, I need to have uh, Raspberries and Ultra Balls on deck for him. So, also, like, Bullpix and Growlithe, they all tend to get Ultra Balls, maybe Great Balls. Okay, there's a Venomoth back there that I can't, I can't, couldn't tap on it fast enough. Not going back for Venomoth. I have a Venomoss. I have two. I'm not going to go back for it. If that was something better, like, I don't know. You know, if I... I don't even know what I would have... If there was, like, a Pikachu... That's an Eevee. Okay, so let's try to catch this Eevee. It's, like, an extremely straight road. So that's why I'm, like, willing to try to catch this while I was driving. Usually I won't try to catch them when I'm driving. I'm only going to have one Pokeball at this Eevee. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing because he should run away because when you're driving in a car it's really hard to catch Pokemon because you only get one shot at them and I got that BB good always want to catch EVs and I, I need to start saving up my EV candies uh, because when Espeon and Umbreon come out I want to have the candies to evolve into them Okay, so here's the final church. Let's hit this up real quick. Spin it. Got a great ball. No Pokemon. Oh, yes, there is. There are two Weedles. So let's go ahead and catch these Weedles. Then I'll cut it, and when we get to another Poke Stop, I'll bring it back. I'm not in a downtown. Oh, gosh, Weedle. I'm not in a downtown area, so I can't really um, go from Poke Stop to Poke Stop like super quick. I actually have to drive to different Poke Stops. Which I guess is hatching the eggs, but I kind of wish I could just walk around in a hotbed and hit up Poke Stop after Poke Stop. Okay, good. The game's, the game's being nice, giving me low combat power Weedles. Alright, there we go. Two Pokeballs, two Weedles. I'll take that all day. Alright, so... That'll do it. I will see you guys at more Pokestops here in a minute. Alright guys, so today didn't go as planned. Uh, I got caught up with a couple of things and got caught up uh, working on a video. Uh, so today didn't go exactly as planned. I'm at the park recording tomorrow's video, which is going to be me sitting at a Pokestop with... Uh, lures at lure and an incense at the park 
which probably I'm going to go over here to this uh, chapel. It's actually being lured right now. Who knows who's over there. Uh, I might go to the cemetery uh, just because it's kind of easier. Uh, this one, a lot more traffic, I guess, which is probably a good thing. But uh, this one, I kind of like. So we might be at, we might end up at the cemetery. There's another pokey stops. Maybe there's another pokey stop in the park. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we are going to incense up. And we are just going to take one quick, not quick, but we're going to take a trip around the park uh, at least once, maybe twice. Uh, I'm just going to do it like I did the last time we made the trip around the park, you know, just record the whole time, the whole way around, and we'll see what we can find um, since this episode's not, not going to turn out exactly how I planned it. There was also a detour, which uh, which obviously makes it a little bit harder to do stuff. Uh, there was a detour blocking off the route that I wanted to take. So let's throw the car into reverse here and head on out. We should hatch a couple of Poke Pokemon eggs too. Uh, so we'll see what we can get out of those. Hoping, uh, I think a 2k egg should pop here like really soon into this drive. So... I, um, obviously I'm hoping for starters or Pikachu, but obviously any of the other stuff is, is all right. Uh, even if I get a Geodude, uh, let's pop a Lucky Egg since we're going to get, uh, an egg popping off here. Uh, so right, where is that cemetery? I don't even know where it is. Oh yeah, it's up here. It's actually a nice little area. Uh, if there's a bench, I might, I might end up just chilling over here because it's it's at the nicer end of the park um is there i don't think there is a bench down there but i'll i'll run there's a parking spot like right next to the cemetery so i might just run down there and check it on my way back i wish one of the oh we got a is this a caterpie yes i'm much more happy about finding caterpies than i am about finding weedles because well caterpies are rarer in my case like where I live they're just rarer than weedles and so I just am more excited when I find a caterpie even though all I do is evolve it with the 12 candies every chance I get we're gonna go over to the Vulpix area as you can see there's only one Pokemon nearby now who knows if that's a hundred percent accurate and then as I drive here I think some should pop up I'd be quite surprised. We may go try and take that. I might go take that gym here at the end of the episode. Oh, here's an egg popping off here. So this is going to be one of the... I think this this is the 2KM. All right, a Pidgey. That sucks. 360 Pidgey also got me a decent chunk of candies, I think. Uh, so let me go ahead and throw this 2KM egg into the Unlimited Incubator. And we are working on 5Ks probably, I don't know, I guess there's a chance we might pot, we might uh, finish them today. Uh, back there, there's the gym. I think I can see it back there. What actually is the marker? The critter corner. We may head back there. Yeah, there's another spot over here, another Pokestop. The duck, the wood duck habitat. Maybe I'll go chill at the wood duck habitat. Uh, let's go, ooh, we've got a Pidgey uh, Odo. I'm going to drive over into the, uh, oh my gosh, a 14 Pidgeotto. He can join the really, I have a bunch of Pidgeottos that are just terrible that I'm just keeping for the heck of it. Uh, but we're, let's go over to the Vulpix area. This is where I found that Vulpix last time. Gosh, there are bugs like everywhere outside my car. Probably because I'm going into the swampy area. Um, I actually have never even like gone over to the duck habitat. So who knows what that even entails. See, we're starting to get a... We're, we got two Pokemon now. We've got a, a Zubat. The weather conditions out today are relatively the same as, as when we found those Vulpix. So that's what I'm hoping. Uh, there is another park that I'm going to get hit up. I'm going to hit up. But this park is easy. It's like right next to my house. So I see no reason not to. Now, is that's that might be the duck habitat. I'm not sure. So now we've got another PG. I'm just saving up these candies, so maybe next week, uh, since I'm going to boost uh, tomorrow and Thursday, 
at work since at gas stations it's supposed to be boosted to find fire Pokemon, hoping that I can find some Growlithe or uh, Vulpixes. I'm going to be boosted, so I'm going to end up catching a lot of Pidgeys. There's a Zubat. Nice. Poke oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold up. I don't think I have enough to buy any right now. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm kind of off the beaten path. I doubt anybody is going to come up behind me. So let's go ahead and trade in a bunch of these Pokemon. Actually, I just need to trade in one. And then I'll catch the Zubat, and I'll drive to a parking spot, and I'll I'll save you guys the time of watching me. Okay, I totally missed the Zubat. There we go. Great. I'm hoping this will just catch it. I'm going to go hit up a parking spot here. Come on, Zubat. Say it. Oh, you suck. It's nice when the park is empty, because I can drive around and do this and not have to worry about another car. Zub okay, Z Zubat's peacing out. All right. Let's get around to a parking spot. I'll keep recording until I get to the parking spot in case we run in. Yeah, here we go. We got a Vulpix on the screen now, guys. So this is great. Exactly what I wanted here. That's why I want to go lure up. I'm going to go check out that church on our way around. Uh, if it stops being lured, then I'm going to go sit over there because that's obviously the easiest spot. It's got chairs and it's got... It's just more comfortable. It's got chairs and it's got shade. But the duck habitat may not be bad as well. I don't really know what that is since I've never... There are certain parts of this park, like over here, I don't come over here often. Uh, it's like the... I don't know, this park puts on like different events. And one of the events they put on... Oh my gosh, Vulpix. We've got Vulpix. Let's, let's get this Vulpix. See, this area over here, if there was a lure spot over here, we would be, we'd be over here. Okay, I don't want to lose this Vulpix, so that's why I'm ultra balling a Vulpix, but I think well worth it. I don't know where the person is. There's a car over here, but I was looking to see if they were in their car, because I was like, they're going to think I'm a weirdo. Like, what am I doing? All right, so there's Vulpix up to 19 Vulpix candy. Still not great, but it's something we just got Pidgeys on the nearby thing now that it's not good I'm not oh excuse me guys um I'm not sure what exactly um we got a ratata oh I gotta, okay hold up let's throw away a Caterpie uh I'm not entirely sure how lures work in parks like I've used lures I've used lures in the cities. I haven't really used them in a park, so I'm not sure what type of Pokemon, how it's gonna differ or whatnot. I'm gonna just drive to this end section over here, but this is actually a really nice area uh, over here. If there was a Pokemon or a Pokestop, I would definitely be over here. Like this is, it's kind of off the beaten path. No one ever comes over here. It's just a really nice area. And uh, if I had my choice, I'd be over here, but there's no Pokestop. All right, guys, we are back. I cleared up a bunch of space. Uh, I think I have room for, what's that, 35 more Pokemon now. Uh, I'll probably need to do some more cleaning out, or I'll need to uh, buy some more storage space. I guess that that's probably the more likely thing to happen. I haven't actually bought any increased storage space so far, so that's kind of a big surprise that I haven't done that. Uh, I just need to get better at when I catch crappy Pidgeys and crappy Weedles and crappy Rattatas that I just transfer them immediately instead of holding on to them. So, sticking to what I just said, let's let's get rid of that. Okay, we got another Vulpix on the map. Nice, this is great. Even if I only find two Vulpix again, this will still be... The one Vulpix is a win. Okay, I'll, I'll take the one Vulpix, which is just crazy that I'm considering one finding one Pokemon a win, but in this grind to get myself a Ninetales and an Arcanine, getting one of them is a win. Like, when I got them out of the eggs, that was huge. That was such a huge win for me that it's crazy. Okay, so, Vulpix. Where would this Vulpix be? Wave to the person mowing the yard, or mowing the lawn. I didn't want to sit here and talk while she was looking at me. I was like, I don't want to look stupid, but 
we are back. It's always weird when you're when I'm doing this and I'm talking to my car and I go by someone who's looking at me in my car. I just feel stupid. Like I feel like they know what I'm. They, I just, I feel like I just look dumb when they look inside of my car and they see me talking to my. It looks like I'm talking to myself. Now all these grass things that are flipping up are not a guaranteed Pokemon as some people think. It is actually a chance for a Pokemon. I don't know what the exact chance is, but I would like it if one of them would turn into a Vulpix. Though I think the Vulpix is probably the one popping up in the middle of that area where I can't get to. Actually can't get there, it's an area you can't walk to even. Okay, so we've got, ooh, ooh, this is nice, a shelter. We're getting close to, I don't even know what shelter evolves into. Oh, does Shelter evolve into Cloister? I think Cloister is what Shelter evolves into. Oh, that was that, that was one awful throw. This is what I like, though. Uh, when I do this during the week, I can just kind of chill in spots once I find a Pokemon. Dang it, Shelter. Would you just get caught? That should have been a great, at least, I thought. Excellence are so hard to get. There we go, Shelter. Now there are a bunch of Vulpix popping off. Um, oh my gosh, I'm one away from a Cloister. So close. I probably could get to the Cloister. Let's see here, let's go down, let's check this out. Yeah, I could, I could trade the 330. You know what, let's do it. Let's go ahead and transfer this and let's get ourselves a Cloister, if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure that's what it evolves into. Okay, I don't know why my, my, my little tab thing for... So yeah, it is a cloister. The sound for the game, uh, it was like messed up. Okay, so here we go. We got cloister registered in the Pokédex. We should get 2,000 experience. A 1,055 cloister... One of my stronger Pokemon, but that that's not exactly saying much. Uh, no Vulpix on the map anymore. Okay. Not a big deal. Okay, I need to turn off the notifications for for Roto Grinders. Okay, so that's that's the disc golf. Where is this duck habitat? Oh, Vulpix is back on the radar, so this is good. We got a Vulpix back on. As long as I can keep a Vulpix on there, there's always there, there's that chance that I find a Vulpix. Drive through the water. This is always a weird... That area also is low trafficked because if it's rained or if it's not a nice day out... Oh, oh we got a Pokemon. We got a Pidgey, so let's go ahead and catch this Pidgey. I think there are a couple of people playing Pokemon walking towards me right now. Because they're looking at their... Oh, well, the kid was looking at his phone. Now he's like... Okay, that was a horrible throw. I tried to throw it with my thumb. Yeah, that just ain't gonna work, ever. I'm trying to let these people go by, so... All right, Pidgey. All right, Pidgey. A 99 combat power Pidgey. Gonna do me like that. All right, I gotta pay attention to the road here for a second, so... That Vulpix will probably pop up now, because I gotta... I gotta get around this old this old man and it looks like his grandson. Looks like his grandson's playing a little Pokemon. They're probably the ones over by the Okay, that that chapel, whoever's at the chapel with the lure is gone now. Okay, so we do got a Vulpix on okay, where is this duck sanctuary? Now I'm like interested. Where is it? or a duck habitat, not sanctuary. But where is this wood duck habitat? Okay, a Rattata. You can run away if you want, Rattata. I don't really care. Where is this? Is it back in there? Uh, I don't even see a path that you could walk to this duck habitat. Like, I'd actually maybe go to the duck habitat, but I can't even... I don't see a... There's not, like, a, uh, a road to drive down to it. So we're going to go to the Vulpix spawn that I had the last time, which was on that kind of off the beaten path road still got one vulpix on the radar this park may become home for a while we may be 
hitting up this park a lot until we get a Nine Tails. Because I really want a Nine Tails. I'm happy that I got a new Pokemon. I got the Cloyster. Um, we're just a few Gold Dean candies. Um, I'm hoping I can catch some. Oh, oh, two Vulpix on the on the radar now. Great. We're coming up to that area where I found. I think it what was it. I didn't show you guys. Oh, we've got a Pidgey. That's nothing special. What the Pidgey? Actually, I don't care if you run away. So we're just gonna keep moving along here. Pidgey, I swear. And I missed. I'm not even doing the spinning ball technique because I'm trying to drive. Uh, I totally lost, I lose my train of thought. Okay, we did catch the Pidgey. Alright, hold on. Before I go back there, I want to slow up here for a second. And there's a Vulpix. That's why I wanted to slow up. Okay, so 391 Vulpix. Okay, you can get that, and then you get an Ultra Ball. I want to get out of the way here, because if someone came whipping around this corner, they're going to take my car out. So let's go over here. We'll oh my! No! Vulpix! That's the second Vulpix I've lost in this area. Right here, this area right here just hates me. This area and the Vulpix just hate me. I mean, why? I come here every time and there's a Vulpix, and every time it runs away. I feel like a 391 combat power Pokemon, if I throw a Raspberry and an Ultra Ball at you, you shouldn't get away. That shouldn't be a thing. Like, that, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's happened twice, too. Raspberry Ultra Balls, and I just can't, I can't catch a Vulpix back here in this area. There's no one here today. I don't know why you'd come back here. This is kind of like the... You know, like I said, the other area is like a really nice area. Oh, it's another Vulpix! Oh my gosh. At least be like a 600 Vulpix. Ah, oh, 111. I, I still want to use an Ultra Ball. I'm not. I'm going to use a Great Ball, but... I'm still worried. I'm worried that with Vulpix, if I don't catch him on the first ball... Oh, no! Okay, it stayed, it stayed. Hit it with another raspberry. If this doesn't catch it and it stays... Oh my gosh, I missed. And it stays, I'm going to go Ultra Ball. How am I missing this? Vulpix. Vulpix, I swear. There we go. Sweet mother, dude. Come on, come on. Yes, okay, there we go. Two Vulpix today. Could have been three, like last time. We could have six more Vulpix candies right now. Still making still making work. 22. Okay, now there's still a Vulpix on my map, but... Alright. Let's keep going. What is that? We've got 22. We need 20 more, 28 more Vulpix candies. That's seven more Vulpix I need to... It's six more. Six more. I need to catch six more Vulpix. Why I say six is because I have three to... I have four to toss away if I got close. I'm hoping out of a 5k kilometer egg, I'll hatch. Now, I was going to say that I'll hatch a Vulpix, but now that I've figured out that this park spits out a few Vulpixes for me, I may actually want Growlithe out of my eggs because I still have yet to find a Growlithe. I have not seen a Growlithe that I can catch yet. It, it, they haven't happened. So, since I've been seeing Vulpix, I feel like I should want Vulpix, or I should want Growlithe. But I don't know. Uh, also, guys, let me know uh, what you guys think of... Uh, well, what, what was I going to... Uh, no, I already asked that. Lot. I'm getting a little bit confused. I get confused on my days and my videos and whatnot, but... I was going to ask, let me know, I guess I could say it in this one too, let me know what you guys think of the new um, underlay for the videos that says that what we're hunting and the most wanted Pokemon out there that I want. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. I like the sprites and I like them moving. I wish they were a little bit higher quality. Okay, homie on the bike. You, you gotta, this is, I hate this. Got this old guy on a bike. I don't want to, like, hit him. 
So he's gonna go, there we go, he's going faster than me now. He just had to get up the hill. Alright, like I said with Pidgeys, we're just gonna keep driving. I would love to catch one more Vol- oh, Pidgey. I'd love to catch one more Volpix today. Um, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be in this episode if the game- if the game wants to give me a Volpix when I sit down at my lure spot, I can live with that. Doesn't have to be in this episode. Actually, coming up to the lure spot. Oh my gosh. Pidgey! And how do I... Oh, I don't get that. How do I overthrow the Pokemon sometimes? Like, I way overthrow them. It's like I put too much... Too much juice. There we go. That's, that's, that's the Pidgey caught. Okay. So I'm wondering, the dream would be that I could sit at this Pokestop... Uh, no, there's no way. I was gonna say, the dream would be that I could sit at this Pokestop in my car, because... That I could be nice and cool. Because it's still hot out. It's still like 89 out or something like that. Alright, Caterpie, if you don't get caught by one Pokeball at 10 combat power, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. Okay, thank you. I would have been running away if I wouldn't have caught him there. Because that should not take more than one Pokeball. See, I'm not I'm not discarding again. I'm not transferring my Pokemon. Actually, I might be able to get to this thing. I guess we'll... No, there's no way. Because I don't think that's a road. I think that's bike path. I can clearly see the chapel from the road. Maybe I can get to it. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. We can hit up this gym here real quick. I can... Can I leave a Pokemon in it? No. And there's my Ninetales. A 974 Ninetales. 1024 Pidgeot. 1026 Hypno. 1183 Flareon, 1440 Snorlax. Oh, there's a Rattata. Guess we can catch him. Okay, maybe I can't catch him. There we go. Okay, okay, that chapel is down there. Huh. Well, with our remaining time, let's just drive around here, see if I can find an alternate way to get to the chapel. Rattata caught. There is no Vulpix on my radar. It appears like the Vulpix are on the other side of the park, it looks like. It doesn't look like they tend to be on this side. Yeah, that road that you guys are seeing, yeah, that's a walkway. Okay, I don't need to yield. There's no one coming. So we'll go the last four minutes of this, and then I'll go get positioned at the church. Or at the chapel. Another Pidgey. You know, there's a Pidgey and a Weedle. I guess maybe I should stop and catch both of these. Get the Pidgey out of the way first. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to go sit at the chapel. I can sit inside the chapel. It's not really actually a chapel. It's just like a... It's just like a community activity, but that's what it was. It's designed to be a chapel, but really gets used as a recreation area. Like, just like a meeting, like when groups come here and whatnot. I think they do have a church service on Sundays, but that's not what it was intended for. I'll obviously give a good view of it. Actually, we can go... Hmm. Actually, oops. No, don't evolve the Weedle. Okay, I think I actually see... How to get there? How are we doing on our eggs? Three point nine out of five. Not half bad. Maybe in the next episode I'll show those hatching. So I think I see where I can go. That might actually allow me to be at the uh, at that pokey step in my car. That would be that would be fire if that was the case. So, I guess by what I've been seeing in the park, I'm not entirely... I need to do my research on lures a little bit more than I have. I need to figure out, like, do lures only attract Pokemon that are generally in the area? Or can it attract Pokemon that aren't generally in the area? Like, okay, whatever, Weedle, get out of here. Um, 
such as, you know, I've attracted two Ammonites at different locations, uh, which is really nice. I have two Ammonites. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Uh, I went and boosted two nights ago. Uh, I used a lure with a friend and I caught this 321 Ammonite. Uh, I wish I could find a Kabuto. Uh, I want to get Kabutops over Omastar. Because I don't really know that many people that want to own the star. I have had decent luck with my eggs. I'm waiting for the 10k egg for me to get a 10k egg and hatch it where it's an Eevee or a Jinx because I have a lot of those too and they're both in 10k eggs which could really suck. But we are coming to the end of this. I'll go ahead and drive on up to the area, back up to the chapel. We'll find less Pokemon once this lure, once this incense uh, wears off. I will be incensed and lured uh, for the video tomorrow. Uh, when you guys check that out, should be interesting. And then the day after that, we'll be back at the Chocolate Cafe. I may even do a separate little part of me running around downtown. Uh, trying to find Pokemon with Pokevision. Oh, that's an interesting um, web app that I might just show in a video all of its own. Because it's a really, it's, it, it's, it's helpful. It's not as helpful if you live in a small city, but it's, it's pretty nice if you live in a big one. Um, like if you go on there and you search up Grand Central Station, it's crazy how many Pokemon are there. Like it's unbelievable. Or like even like uh, I think it has um, I think it starts it started on St. Monica's Pier. Uh, it starts on a pier, and that's pretty lit when they have when they show that. But you can go on there and you can see if a Dragonite is spawned. Uh, you can see Dragonairs. There was a Dragonair not too far from me last night, but I wasn't gonna go drive to it at like 1:30 in the morning that wasn't gonna happen so they put in this nice alcove i know we drove down it in like the last episode but it's actually a really nice alcove that they added so that you can get to you can have parking right next to this chapel because i know like with groups and stuff we did that before we just pulled up and parked right near it so this will be interesting i think i can actually get pretty close to it i actually can I don't think it's gonna let me do any. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me interact with it, but it's all clear. Um, but that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. We did catch two Vulpix, which is really nice. Uh, we can go to recents. You can see the 386 Vulpix and the 111 Vulpix. So two pretty good finds. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Look at how close I am, actually. I actually am pretty close. This was just a little bit farther up, but we are going to go chill at the chapel for the next video. Make sure you guys check it out tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. Hopefully I can find a lot of stuff with it lured and incensed, uh, but we will have to wait and see. But drop this video a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.